Good morning from Montenegro. So thanks to 360 Mont, we are going on a tour of all of Northern Montenegro today. How was your night? Good. We're gonna have an hour and a half of driving before first stop. Stop for breakfast, coffee and everything. In the meantime, we're gonna make a few small breaks for taking pictures through the day, about the day. It's our first stop on the trip. There are two little islands, they're both churches. One of them he was saying is called like what, Lady of the Rocks? Yeah. And it's because there's the, it's man-made, right? Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of like sunken ships. Mm -hmm. I would love, I'm going to scuba dive to a sunken ship at some point in my life. All right. <laughs> That's a good view. Yeah. All right, one last look out at the bays before we head off into the mountains. Kotor is actually around that mountain there, back tucked away in there. Is dotted all throughout here. Lots of little towns and stuff. The sun is just starting to come through. This place is called Salt Lake, and as the tour guide is yelling, there's actually no salt in it. They just call it that. It's fresh water, but pretty sweet. This is a sick, sick view. I wish I had time to throw the drone out, but we don't have time right now. We're about to go get some breakfast. I just say that on the ride here, it has been so exciting seeing all the colors changing in the trees. This is the first time I really felt like it's fall. Look at this, we're bundled up. We're wearing sweaters. <laughs> I've got three shirts on and a sweater and a jacket. <laughs> it's so exciting. Fall is here, guys. Yeah. like bridge on river Tara. Tara is like river that have deepest canyon in uh, Europe and second deepest in the world. This is the largest gorge in all of Europe and the second largest in the world, second to the Grand Canyon, which is in the United States. Below me is the Tara River. The Tara River runs between Bosnia and Montenegro and through Montenegro. You can do river trips and I really wanted to go rafting, but they said it's way too cold. I love the colors of the trees. It's fall time and everything's changing color. This is the perfect place to be. So you guys know how I get car sick. We've been driving a long way, but it's totally worth it to me to see all this stuff. We don't have a car. We don't have licenses actually to rent a car. So it's like 10 times worth getting sick over seeing how beautiful Montenegro is. We just entered a national park. Can I chew and swallow first? <laughs> oh, that's actually the name, Dermator. Dermator National Park. Uh -huh. Dermator. Dermator. Now tell us, Ashley. We just entered the national park in Montenegro, and it's called Dermator. The largest national park in Montenegro. Dermator is like dinosaur name, so I'm pretty sure we'll see some dinosaurs. On this How trip. did you get dinosaur from Dermator? Dermator, Dermator. Raptor. Coming out on to, is it Cherno or Cerno Lake? basically translate to Black Lake. We've got about an hour and a half to hang out here, so we are gonna walk a bit around the lake. I don't know if we'll make it all the way around. Oh, we're in the snow zone, Ashley. Ah, uh, where is the 
snow. Actually, the mountain, there was snow earlier this week and there's just a little bit on top of it now, but most of it's been melted away. This view is crazy. These mountains up here, I can't get enough of these. And Ashley's freaking out because Finding mushrooms everywhere. Oh my gosh! If I only knew what was good, I would like totally forage it and we could eat it later. It's a mushroom paradise! Oh. <laughs> Whoa. This looks like it should be under the sea. You think I should eat it? Mm, at least lick it. Definitely lick it. <laughs> no! It smells good. It smells like mushrooms. It smells like, like mushrooms, huh? Like dirt and earth! Mm. Just hiking around the lake here. There's actually two little lakes. This one is much smaller. It's about a 20, 30 minute hike to get to here, but it's not difficult at all. back off to get some lunch, and then on to our last stop, a really cool monastery that's hard to get to. Lunch! We are having such a good day here in Montenegro. Seeing all the nature, it's awesome. So much good stuff. They even have sprackling water boodle. <laughs> you want some? <laughs> this is local beer made from the freshest water source available, a river just on the road. We've also got some vegetable and meat soups and... Veal in my soup. It's what? So good. And homemade cheese. The economy is low here, so they just make all their stuff. So cool. And they use all the ingredients we have from local people because this is like a poor area. That's literally what I just said, but in different words. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Okay. Meal's finished. Time. And that was only, it was under 11 euro. Five euro each. We did really good. That's not bad. And I feel so folly because we had soup and all the trees are changing color and I just love it. As the sun sets on the final destination of our great northern Montenegro tour, we come to Ostrog Monastery. It is a gorgeous 350 year old monastery built into the side of this mountain really, really high up. We were climbing and climbing up a mountain forever, like half an hour or even more, just going up, like switchbacks back and forth. And they get sick once. Our driver is amazing. He's so good. Supposedly, the man who built this monastery, his body is still in there. Said so when he died, he didn't actually die and he just left his body in there. We'll see what I can find. monastery on the mountain. Some pretty gnarly stuff. There's like a whole confession room in there with a guy who looks like an Orthodox Jew, honest, and he's like reciting confessions and there's a coffin there and people are like coming in and touching it and praying with him. The coffin is the man who built this. Oh really? Yeah, they said that his body never decomposed. They have a pretty strict no filming policy and they have security and they have surveillance cameras so we didn't film in there. The room with the confession that we went in, it was like a cave. You had to duck down to get into it. It was built into the rock with the man in the casket. Pretty crazy. This gold-plated figure of a saint is seven euro. Outside of the monastery, people are sleeping. They've set up their sleeping supplies. I don't know who they are or why they're sleeping here. So we asked our guide why the people are sleeping here, 
and apparently it's something that the saint, I keep forgetting his name, who established this place used to do, he'd sleep outside. So now it's sort of a ritual on the weekends. People will come up here and sleep over and go to early morning prayers. It's just like a, it's like a weekend thing to get closer to God and closer to the monastery, essentially. Also, we found a free roaming hedgehog. Oh, I really want to pick it up, but they said I probably shouldn't. It's probably full of fleas. <laughs> yeah. Back in Kotor, look at this cool old wall. It's all lit up at night. That's pretty sweet. This place is awesome! So once again, go ahead and check out 360 Monty. Thank you and to them for sending us on this tour. Yeah. Definitely worth the money. You are up early and you get back late and you drive around all of Montenegro. Pretty much. We basically saw the entire country in a day thanks to them. So yeah. check it out. Come to Montenegro. It's, it's gorgeous. It is beautiful. I hope we encourage you to get out and travel today. And we'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Easy peasy. We didn't take a single wrong turn. Even though we didn't know where we were going. We just arrived at the hostel. It looks so cool in this town. I feel like I have walked back in time. I'm super stoked. I didn't hear what you said, so I can't comment. Josh is editing a video, or trying to put it up because it's late.